I'm Christina Howard, and you've probably heard of Your Ward News, a small community publication that's distributed by volunteers. Now, its content is so disturbing, so vulgar, that Canada Post will no longer deliver it. But this latest summer edition is delivering a strong message. It won't go down without a fight. And some say it's also issuing a dangerous call to violent action against one family. It's not the first time our names have shown up in, in your ward news, but for sure when you know, words like that are used in the context of potential harm to your family, you, you, you become concerned and alarmed. Concerned and alarmed because James Sears, the author of the post, writes, there was the chance that some hothead who cares deeply about me and my family would lose it and do something illegal like bludgeon the Kinsillas to death. Warren and Lisa Kinsella have been vocal opponents of the publication that was once delivered like flyers by Canada Post. The minister put an end to that and now the publication is challenging Canada Post's decision to stop distributing it. The Kinsillas are seeking legal standing at the Board of Review. I reached out to uh, my local police division to, to report it. Um, we're also hoping that uh, Ontario's Attorney General takes action. We've reached out to the Attorney General's office about the publication that claims Canada's rape shield laws takes the responsibility for rape away from women and lays it solely on the shoulders of normal, horny men, even though a man cannot be held morally responsible for where his testosterone-driven penis takes him. The AG's office hasn't responded. James Sears, the publication's editor-in-chief, responded to our request for an on-camera interview with a brief statement. Unfortunately, the constitutional lawyer representing me at the Board of Review has advised me to do no media interviews until our legal challenge against the government is resolved. Police say there have been several reports about the publication, but nothing that warranted charges under Canada's hate laws because there wasn't an element of criminality. Sears is fighting the prohibitionary order on the grounds that it infringes on his freedom of expression. Kinsella disagrees. Hate propaganda is not free speech. You can't target people based on race or gender or you know whether or not they're gay or lesbian. It just it goes against everything that most of us um, believe in. Now, back in the early 1980s, a prohibitionary order was issued against Ernest Zundel and his Holocaust-denying publications. It was shortly overturned by the Board of Review. The Kinsillas are hoping that won't be the case this time. Christina Howarren, City News.